Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I'm making Company's Coming Mashed Potatoes. These are much richer than your normal mashed potatoes and always a crowd pleaser. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, what you need is uh, potatoes. This is a five pound bag and I'm probably going to cook most of it. Um, heavy whipping cream. One stick of butter and salt and pepper to taste. And the first thing I'm going to do is peel and dice the potatoes and cook them until they're soft. And then we're going to make them like everybody else does except that we're using the good stuff. The general measurement for making mashed potatoes is one potato per person and one for the pot. So I'm making mashed potatoes for four people, so I have five potatoes. Um, I'm going to dice these and rinse them off, put them in cold water, and cook them up. Okay, the potatoes have all been diced. Um, they're all pretty much the same size and um, they've been rinsed and covered with cold water and I'm going to put the flame on high and I'm going to start the boil and these are going to cook until they get fork tender and I'll just keep coming back and checking it sometimes they're done in 15 minutes sometimes they take longer okay the potatoes are done and as you can see they are fork tender so I'm going to drain these and after they're all drained and after they're all drained and in a very large bowl I'm just going to Put some butter in the bottom and the reason that I'm cutting up the butter in pieces is just so that it melts easier and I'm going to reserve a chunk of butter and that's going to be pulled on the top of the mashed potatoes which is something that my hubby really likes it makes them even more moist Okay, these are all drained. Put them in the bowl, and I'm going to get out a um, the electric mixer, and I'm going to um, mash the potatoes and whip them. And I'm going to start out by adding a quarter cup of the heavy whipping cream. If I need more, then I'll add more. Okay, I've got the butter mashed in and most of the chunks are mashed and now I'm going to put this heavy whipping cream in and I'm going to whip this on high and if I think it needs more whipping cream then I'll add more but this gives it a really rich flavor between the real butter and the whipping cream there is a major difference. Okay, I've been whipping these for about uh, maybe two minutes and they are super fluffy and now you can either now you can add um, your salt and your pepper to taste um, you know me I don't salt anything until it's on my plate because I really have to worry about blowing up like a balloon with salt even though I use sea salt um, and you can leave them as is, or you can go on to make them a little, um, little different. Uh, at this point, for me, I like to add about a quarter to a half a cup of sour cream, and I'll whip that in. Um, you can add shredded cheese to this, um, chopped chives or green onions, bacon bits or crumbled bacon I mean you can make this any way you like but the base of this with the heavy whipping cream is what makes it oh 
Okay, I've already added the butter to the bottom of the bowl and added potatoes. Uh, I'm going to start mashing these using the electric mixer. And once I get them kind of mashed up, I'm going to add the quarter cup of whipping cream to it and really beat the daylights out of it. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of sour cream. Um, I'm out of bacon, which is my favorite combination. But this does fine. Okay, now that I have these um, all whipped up, I'm just going to add the quarter cup of the sour cream. And I'm going to whip this again for about two minutes until it gets nice and fluffy. And like I said, you can add more sour cream. You can add all kind of goodies, whatever you like. It's the base of the potatoes that really make it. So, we'll be back when these are done. And there they are. Here's the regular potatoes. Um, and there's the ones with sour cream. They don't look the same. The taste is amazingly different. And like I said about the little pool of butter. Yeah, that's something my husband really likes. And so is my son. So anyway, if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.